Today we're talking about diesel, specifically how to get a diesel going once you run it out of fuel. If you run a diesel out of fuel, especially an old diesel engine like this, it can be a little bit of a pain because air gets in the way and then your fuel injectors won't open. I'll get into more about how that works later. Diesel's awesome, it's more energy dense. The military, they use diesels for everything and if they want a dirt bike, to handle and transport and you let it sit there and it doesn't go bad the way that gas does plus it corrodes and creates all kinds of havoc where there's dissimilar metals just sitting there so diesel you can let it sit there as long as you keep the water out of it and as long as you don't run it out of the vehicle it can be pretty easy if you do run out of diesel uh, there's things that you can do to get it going I'm going to address how to do it on a thing like a skid steer anything with the mechanical mechanical injection in this video uh, modern diesels, like your brand new Duramax, your brand new Cummins and whatnot, it's electronic uh, pump and it's electronic uh, injector. It uses an electrical signal to open it, so it does it on its own. You don't have to worry about that. If you got an older machine like this, I got your back. Brian's Mobile One. Well, this talent handler is super handy. There goes the trailer. But it's old and it requires some maintenance and it's old school. If you have a machine like this, it has a lot of life left in it. It's important, being a diesel, that you don't run it out of fuel. The fuel is used as a hydraulic fluid to press the spring pressure on the injectors to open it. If you run out of fuel, air gets in the lines and that air works like a spring. And then this spring can't have enough pressure to open. If it won't open, it won't run. I had a problem, being old as it is, I had a plug made of plastic like this. Uh, it was in this location and it leaked, it broke and uh, air got in. So when the air's introduced into the distributor fuel pump, it goes, there's a little rotating thing. And these little pistons that go up, down, up, down as it rotates like that. They got like little ridges like a flower and they expand and contract and push the fuel together using pressure from the camshaft. So when that's happening, it pushes the fluid with no air in it, and it goes fine until you run out of gas. To get the air out of the lines, if that happens, you have to purge the system. This has a little thing that you unscrew, and you pump it up and down, and then there's a fuel pump on the other side that runs off of the camshaft, a little thing that pumps through. But you gotta get all the air bled out and you got start at the beginning and work your way out. Um, sometimes you can get away with in this situation. Uh, you can purge the air out by having this pump everything up through with these loosened. So what I had to do when this happened is I have an electric pump I've converted for lifting to the pressure pump. This is your high pressure fuel pump. But you loosen these nuts on these fittings and the air will get pushed up to there and you'll see it bubble. You'll see it bubble between the fuel line and the back of the, the flare nut. So you do two of them at a time. You take a wrench and you loosen them and you do it until just fuel comes out. Then you tighten those and you do the other two. And then you do it until uh, just fuel comes out with no air bubbles. Then you tighten them off and then you'll have one cracked open for any other extra air to come out. I usually will do this long one because it's easiest to wrench on and it'll start up and then you can close it. It'll run a little rough a little bit, it'll purge the rest of the air, and then you're good to go. And uh, that's how you get an older diesel to run again. Um, some of the places that you'll purge on the way up are this plug here. Um, you'll have this plug here at the top, but it's blocked by a line. It's got kind of a poor jerry rig design. Uh, you can do this line right here. There's another filter in here, but you crack this one. Uh, there's this little bleeder here, and then this one, and then of course you've got these all the way across here. But if you start at the source of where it's uh, just all fuel and work your way up, uh, then that'll get you where you need to be. When you have to uh, get water out of the system, the water comes out at the bottom of one of your filters. So this has uh, got another little thing at the bottom there. Water's heavier than diesel fuel. You want to get rid of water. Uh, anytime you get rain or something, if it gets in at the fuel tank, you want to drain all that out because otherwise you get algae that is kind of 
dark, dark green, black algae will plug up all of your tiny little orifices and things like in your injectors or in your filters. There's also a little filter that's underneath of this plug. So, but once you change your filters, you gotta purge the air. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching, cheers. Bonus footage at the end. Good.